In this video, we will be studying about the method of sampling. See, there are six methods of sampling. Number one is a random method. Number two is your purposive sampling. Number three is your stratified sampling. Number four is your systematic sampling. Number five is your quota sampling. And the sixth one is your convenience sampling. So in this video, we will be studying about the first three methods of sampling. So let's understand number one, that is your random sampling. Now what is random sampling which means the name itself suggests that you are selecting the sample randomly. So there are equal chances of being selected of every item in the universe. So this is the method. of sampling in which each and every item of the universe has equal chance of being selected in the center which means let's suppose there is a class oral class test in your class and there so ma'am won't listen from everybody in the class let's suppose there are 50 students so your teacher won't uh, take the oral test of all the 50 students in the class so there are random she selects the student randomly and ask the question so there are chances of all the 50 students to get selected from the universe 50 is the universe and to whom this uh, ma'am is asking question randomly these are your samples so in this she can ask question from any of the students from among 50 so this is the time method of sampling in which each and every item of the universe has equal chance of being selected in the sample. Now what are the merits of random sampling? It is free from personal biasness. You have you are choosing. So it is free from personal biasness. The second comes here equal chance of being selected then the third comes your fairly representative sample the fourth is it is very simple and straightforward method Demerits of random sampling is it does not guarantee proportionate representation. So let's suppose there is a you have a universe of 100 and you want to select the sample of only, you have selected the sample of only 10 or 20. So this does not guarantee, a random sampling does not guarantee a proportional representation of different items in the universe. This may not give weightage to certain important item. May not give 
weightage to certain important item items the second type of sampling is purposive or deliberate sampling see purposive sampling is that method in which the investigator himself make the choice of which items to be taken into the sample or which he has to eliminate from the sample so it is your choice according to which if you are an investigator it is your choice according to which you take the items of the sample you only according to your knowledge selects the sample so this is it is that method in which the investigation the investigator himself makes the choice of the sample items which in his opinion are the best representative of the universe so your merits of this sample are this is flexible this is more flexible to allow the inclusion of those items in the sample which are of special significance so this method is very flexible selection of items can be deliberately tuned to the purpose of study can be deliberately tune to the purpose of study third comes here it is simple technique of selection of the sample items so it is a simple technique in which you can select the items of the sample according to your knowledge and which are of the great significance the merits are personal bias because the investigator is selecting himself so it, he can be personally biased towards the sample less reliable high knowledge so these are some of the demerits of the purposive sampling method the third one is the stratified or mixed sample See under this what you do, there is a population, you divide the population according to its characteristics in different strata or parts. From these parts, you choose sample. This, this is your stratified sampling. Now let's suppose you have to uh, find out the um average weight of the people living in this society so that you can um, you know give the weight to the lift accordingly like 18 70 kg or 550 kg or 6 person 7 person so what you do you divide the uh, population into the strata that is the women men and children from women, men and children, you will take the uh, the few samples of women uh, weight, few samples of men weight and few samples of children weight. You will find the average weight and accordingly you will decide the, uh, the weight of the lift that can be put up. So in this way, type of sampling is known as the stratified or the mixed sampling. So according to this me method, population is divided 
into different parts or strata having different characteristics and some of the items are selected from each strata so that the entire population gets represented so in this case let's suppose uh, there are 50 students in class 11th out of which 30 have studied mathematics and 20 have studied home science from each of these uh, strata items would be selected proportionately such that the sample represent the characteristics of the entire population so this is just stratified or mixed sampling its merits are it cover diverse characteristics the second is uh, you can have the comparative analysis of the data the third merit is reliable data because it's take, it take it has taken into consideration the all the characteristics of the population of so it is reliable data the d merits are you need a complete knowledge in order to divide the data or make the parts or strata second one is possibility of biasness there is possibility of biasness third is it is further difficult to divide difficulty to divide into smaller parts or strata if the data has very is very diversified when the size of the population is very diversified so it is very difficult to divide into the smaller parts or strata so this is your stratified or the mixed sampling method. I hope you like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.